I'd be writing along doing a spreadsheet or something, and I, all of a sudden I, I couldn't make the number three. I would just, and it wasn't a long time after that, I couldn't make an S. No 73, Don Stad of Grand Rapids has been dealing with essential tremors since his 40s. And I got jittery when I was trying to drink a cup of coffee or something and just progressed. You could call it embarrassment or frustration or whatever, just quality of life. You go to a restaurant and everyone else has a nice dinner and I order a sandwich because I can't navigate a knife and a fork. Uh, drinking wine out of a stem glass was impossible. Uh, pouring my wife a cup of coffee in the morning was just don't do it. Jody, his wife of nearly 50 years, says the tremor also robbed Don of his hobbies. It was hard for him because, especially being a handyman, he loved to work with tools and he's done a lot of projects around our house. And to go from that and, and not be able to use a screwdriver or, yeah, or hammer a nail, it was, that was hard because I knew that was his love. Essential tremor can run in families. That's the case in Don's. My mother had the shimmy shakes. My grandfather had the tremor. Medication helped, but Don's tremor kept progressing. He learned the focused ultrasound procedure was being offered in Chicago, but his insurance wouldn't cover it out of network. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. But I just felt, well, something will happen. It wasn't meant to be yet. When Don heard that Corwell Health in Grand Rapids was starting a focused ultrasound program, he jumped at the chance. Hi, Don. Yes. Dr. Lee. Good to see you. Dr. Luan Lee learned the procedure in Oregon and brought it to Michigan. We are focusing 1,000 ultrasound waves into one spot in the brain to create a uh, lesion in the brain. Dr. Lee explains it like this. When you take a magnifying glass and focus the individual rays of the sun into one spot, it generates heat. This procedure takes about a thousand ultrasound rays and focuses them in one precise spot in the brain to heat up the tissue causing the tremor. There's no implant, no incision, no hospital stay. And these patients, they suffer from tremor probably for years, 10 years, 20 years. And with this procedure, you usually see their hand become steady, like immediately. There is one catch. In order for the procedure to work, patients have to shave their heads. This was Don on procedure day as he was fitted with a special frame. This whole thing is amazing. Using an MRI scanner, Dr. Lee finds the precise spot in the brain. Push you in, pull you out several times as they're finding the right exact little pin prick spot. The spiral here again? Don is tested repeatedly on his ability to draw a spiral and a straight line. You're in there for 10 seconds, 12 seconds. It's, it's nothing. You come out and you, they hand you an ink pen and you're totally conscious. You're not sedated in any way. And you're shaking like crazy. And by the fourth or fifth time you're doing this, it's smooth. This is great. And everybody oohs and ahs. All right. Immediately after the procedure. I think print. Print? Yeah. When was the last time we able to do that? You're awesome. All right. Very good. <laughs> I could see my name again. I could write. I could draw a straight line. I can do the spiral. Simple. It's uh, comfortable, pain free. Hour and a half later, we're going home. First thing I did was put an egg in a fry pan to see if I could flip it. And I, ooh, yeah, this happens. And I could write a check, I could sign my name, I could put my return address on the envelope, I could put the stamp on the envelope where it's supposed to be. Don experienced a few days of brain fog, but it faded quickly. Wow. It is uh, brain surgery. The most common side effects I've seen is all the temporary balance problems right after the procedure. What I tell the patient is that number one goal is do no harm. Number two is improve your quality of life. It's been about three weeks since we saw you since the procedure. Yes. How are you doing since then? 
outstanding. The procedure is not a cure, but Dr. Lee says most patients should see their hands remain steady for many years. The latest study uh, right now shows that about on average, 73% tremor improvement at five years follow-up. I'm happy that we can offer this treatment in Michigan now. I can do a puzzle with my granddaughter. That's yeah. right. Just yeah. little yeah. things. Yeah. It's bursting with joy because this weekend I even saw him working with his power tools and it was like, oh, there he is. I said, I got my old Don back. Of all the things Don can once again do, there is one that means more than anything. Trying to just be able to write my signature. I mean, I'm... I'm nobody, but just my signature over the years has gone to a scribble of my initials. So now I can write my name again, which is kind of neat. <laughs>